Broadcasting from Ventus, Kuwait. This is the Me and Larry reality video show, LTL, Editorial News Weekend Review for February 21st, 2010. And finally, on the headlines of It Was Meant to Be, It Was Meant to Be for LTL to be scammed by the world. Starting with the United States, with the reason why I'm working in Kuwait, when you have a bill which is $31,000 from the school I went to in California, they're among the list. When you went to ITT, and it's, it's on here about the California student loan, and the California student loan is related to the federal government, a private industry that the federal government want to have their hands on to scam people, to have from the USA funds to transfer the connections to Sally May and then be able to transfer to General Revenue Corporation and then in order to do garmentsment to my check as you see right here coming up to the garnishment of my check and then to finally pay it off but I'm not able to take care of my life and to lose two had two ex-wives because the two ex-wife, the first one, they one said thought I had potential only to see me go overseas and they wanted more than that. So it was a part that they she had grown children, so she needed a sugar daddy. I was I'm sorry I was not the one, so I guess, uh, in a way, she had my vehicle to borrow for a while, because I thought I'd trust her. She using it to the ground, because she said she don't have no money. That's sad. The second ex-wife, because I went to uh, her church, she separated from her parents to go to this church, and then to have... Uh, none other than uh, her children from three different fathers. And I'm sorry to hear that story. I thought I could be a, a, a help, but I was a hindrance. Because I, I can't fit the role as a father for them that they don't understand me. And the only one they could deal with is their grandparents. I'm sorry to hear that. And when I went overseas, when I came back the first time, uh, I didn't have a job for a while. She said I had, she could have helped me, but it turned out she couldn't help me, so I had to go back. And it's a sad thing to go back because there's a lot of temptations, like Tiger Woods said, outlets where there's women out here, and I didn't want to fall for it. So it's a sad thing about that, which comes down to a divorce, and then I married uh, my wife in Senegal, and then she's a Nigerian lady. Here it is, the paperwork for it, and then, of course, the marriage certificate in Senegal. And all she wanted to do was to visit me 
in Kuwait as he was not able to do it. And so to be not able to do it because of uh, we had passport problems, my wife here took on the road of trying to go to Nigeria using my last name with child, which is from another dad. And here I am sacrificing, and I feel like I'm being scammed there. Some way, somehow, I'm being scammed either in Senegal, Nigeria, or her, or all three. Western Africa is a scam. Yes, to all these factors, here it is in Kuwait. The child could come, but the wife or so-called wife, if it's, if it's true, is on a watch list or a blacklist under uh, national security. Just because of Umar Farak Adu Matulet done at Christmas, all Nigerians may be a part of the, uh, of the travel ban or national security. It's sad, but I feel like it's true. Or else there's a scam in her life that I don't know. How would I know? I don't. So, it meant to be, for me to be scammed, viewers from Facebook, YouTube, iReport, and others. What should I do? Maybe I should just end my life. That's a good idea. But not in my hands. But in God's hands. I'm asking God to go ahead and take me out of here. Because of the failure, because of me, was born with a speech impediment, more, a guy who had the biggest heart, bigger than Russia, bigger than the world. I got the biggest heart in the world. Not these millionaires who just give away their money and they call themselves the ones with the biggest heart. I had the biggest heart. I had a millionaire before he, they ever thought about millionaires. So, there. There you have it. To my viewers of Facebook, to my viewers of YouTube, to my viewers of iReport, any other. You may not care about me. You may not give a damn. Born with a speech impediment. Hey, you should have prayed for me when I was doing these reports. But if God take me out of here between when I get off this um, video segment or down the line, I thank the God for having me to do these videos, reality video show. This is LTL, LTL Editorial News, Weekend Review for February 21st, 2010, sounding off.